Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. It's the host himself, Ted Talk Money. Today guys, we're going to be talking and diving into something that's very serious for crypto investors and that's information. You know, in the world of finance, I've been seeing that the ones with the best insight always stay ahead of the game. And that's really why we're going to be talking about some of our partners today that's really, you know, sharing some of the latest research and analysis but of course we're going to be covering xrp uh, i'm going to be go ahead and put that up for the new person that is here you have to understand if you are into iso cryptos utility cryptos and as well the geopolitical stage hit that subscribe button now my people you guys can see it we're going to be covering some of these new updates that have been happening with the Bank of England announcing Basel III capital law rules. Again, if you know anything about central banks, you want to pay attention to Basel III. And as well, if you are a XRP holder, then you definitely want to stick around for this SWIFT news. We're going to be uncovering a little bit about this plan, how SWIFT wants to integrate some digital assets and currencies into their global payment network. But right now, guys, I just want you all to understand and know, again, right now, as the market is moving forward, I want to really talk with you guys about, you know, with one of our partners right here to bring up uh, some of the latest research and analysis you guys really need to make some smart decisions, of course, while this market is a bit volatile. You guys can see I really want to show you all um, some of the uh, uh, article, my article actually on Cryptonomy's research platform. You guys could head over to it. I believe a link in the description for you guys. But again, you could dive into it, see some uh, market analysis, really help you guide your next step. I really put this one out from one inch. Uh, but again, it doesn't stop there. If you guys really want to upgrade your account to the VIP account, you would then unlock a lot of these exclusive benefits including uh, earning from staking and, of course, a personal financial analysis support. Guys, they have 24-7 support, so you guys aren't really stuck needing help. Now, also staying informed is key. So make sure you guys are following their, their media channels, Twitter, Telegram, for all of their updates on market conditions, all the new features, all the new opportunities. And then you can join those channels, of course, for all their real-time updates. Now, as you guys know, I really do love to lead by example. So let's really talk about making your crypto work for you. I've been using Cryptonomy's fixed staking and their launch pool, and the results have been great so far. You guys can see my profits. I've been earning directly. You guys can see my transaction history, and it's all been credited over into my wallet. Um, I'm going to actually show you guys. Let's get started. You guys can see some of the options here. Let's just head on over to the fixed again. You guys can see I'm actually going to make a deposit for you guys really quickly so you all can see here. Now you have a few different options you could do for 12 months, six months, tw uh, one, six or 12 months and three and nine in between those. I'm going to go ahead for six. You guys can see here that the uh, minimum deposit for Bitcoin will be 0 0.0017. I'm going to go ahead and drop 0 0.002 in here so you all can see. And then from there. Uh, six months continue now from there i have a interest rate period 29.6 percent make my deposit create my scheduled interest is right there very simple very simple to do also i want you all to see you could support new projects with their launch pool i'm going to show you all some of my positions that i have here and as well you all can see that they've been them Oh, some ha are active and some that have been completed. You all can see uh, some of the results that I've had with this uh, bronze ETH contract. And I can actually start another one with you all. Now, it's a little bit more hefty when it comes down to these launch pool, uh, launch pool uh, deposit. So I'm really just showing you all how how large it could be. But at the same time, I made that deposit with the with the fixed. So you definitely want to get in tune with the launch pool. Check that out. For those of you who have signed up but haven't become active users yet, now is the time to get started. For real, the launch pool and the fixed staking are designed to give you these steady profits, even in this market chop that we're experiencing right now, with all of these other assets really taking dips. You really don't want to let your account just sit there and be idle. You want to allow your crypto to really work for you. Now, moving forward here, I want to discuss this news as well, that Bitstamp and Ripple are going to be launching their derivative exchange on the XRPL. So again, for the new person that is watching, understand what Lift Capital is, what we're going to be covering. We always want 
our people to understand the bigger picture, but as well, we want to cover the developments that are happening on the ground, on the ground level. Bitstamp and Ripple are going to be launching the derivative exchange. This is really all based on this news here that launched really this connection where you have Robinhood entering into an agreement with Bitstamp. Okay, Bitstamp. Now, the big thing, guys, that you want to understand is that Bitstamp, head of strategic partnership, revealed that they have to a plan to collaborate with the with X with the XRPL, of course, with Ripple. We Bitstamp really hope to cooperate closely with Ripple there as well. You all could see here that Robinhood entered into this agreement to acquire Bitstamp. So really you're seeing a Robinhood and Ripple collaboration. Also, you guys can see here Swift unveiling their plan to in to integrate digital assets. One thing I want you guys to understand is and you know for the new person that is watching you want to dive through our library because we've been connecting the dots for a long time. If back in 2021, you weren't even thinking of crypto or never heard of it, well, that's when our research started. That's when this channel began. That's when we really wanted to get in tune with you where you are, maybe a year later after that. But regardless, folks, we want to understand what Swift really is. It's a messaging system. It's just a messaging board. When it comes down to what Ripple does and what XRP's utility truly is, transferring a value turning one thing into another thing of value and just a snap just a flash so again we're going to be covering unified ledgers in this video so definitely you want to stay tuned but swift has unveiled this plan to enable the movement of digital assets and currencies on its global payment network the initiative aims to integrate regulated digital assets into swift's platform while also building on some past experiences experiments we're paving the way towards real world solutions that will enable our members to access and transact with regulated digital assets and currencies on the swift network so we've kind of made that dis that dissemination or or that um separation in a sense because you really have to think about unregulated digital assets or unregulated currencies that are going to be in operation still on blockchain networks. I'm sure you guys are seeing that you're really having a lot more political voice toward digital assets. Swift is going to be integrating digital assets and currencies into its payment network. Interest in digital assets and currencies continues to grow with the last two years bringing greater clarity on the potential value of these developments to the industry. The last two Two years, two years. Lyft Capital has been on the scene the last two years. Institutional investors, however, face challenges due to fragmented platforms and regulatory complexities. And this is what most people have to understand. Yes, the institutional investor is a little bit more of a bigger drop in the bucket versus a financial institution per se. But you must think about what ISO 20022 is going to do for said institutional investor, for said financial institution. You're going to be combining things. They say here, Swift warns of digital islands where separate systems lead to higher risks and costs. That's where ISO 20022 comes in. It's a common language. So I want to direct your attention here. Hopefully, if you could look at the screen, this is a diagram a showing a using of unified ledgers and a unified ledger protocol. This unified interledger protocol is, again, something that has been created, developed, and earned by Ripple, the interledger protocol. We're going to be talking about that today. But I want you all to see how a unified ledger would work. In reality, you have individuals and businesses all coming on this one ledger, which would have smart contracts, tokens, different accounts, an immutable ledger, accounts, folks, we're talking about central bank here we're talking about retail we're talking all accounts and as well programmability all built all built within now this may be how this ledger may be the protocol that would connect them would again be the ilp interledger is a protocol for sending packets of money across different well, uh, packets of value across different payment networks or ledgers uh, the upgrade is a simplification of the previous versions of the protocol that is optimized for routing large volumes of low value packets, also known as penny switching. This is important, folks, because, again, using the ILP for not just for retail CBDCs. You see, if you guys didn't know that XRP is really going to be utilized for the wholesale CBDC and as well can be used for the retail, but that's the 
world bridge currency, the banks utilizing it the most uh, on a global level. Yes, XRP can do it. It can be on its back. All right. So keep that in mind if you guys are doing any research out there. Um, guys, you want to hit that like button. Dive through our playlists, our libraries, guys. And dive through it all. All right. Now, to really announce this here, we're going to give you guys a visual of what Basel 3 is all about. I know we have a lot of researchers out there. A lot of my sons are out there. Bank of England announced revised Basel 3 capital rules. Bank of England implementing new banking rules, folks. Capital rules for UK banks. All right. Uh, again, if you're new to this channel, you've heard us talk. Well, we really, if you're a member of our channel, you've heard us talk a lot about Basel 3. And again, for the person that's watching on the outside and you're not a member, you want to dive through. That's where we put all of our goods. You know, we have a lot of researchers that are like uncovering a lot of things like, man, you never miss it. We uncovered that. That stuff is old. But the thing is, we, we, we have our members know those things because, again, we want our members, our community, real lifters to be focused proof because that's the thing about this market it's volatile but it goes in cycles you understand that one bitcoin is one bitcoin one doge equals one doge one xrp equals one xrp all right but when you only want to talk about something that's volatile it's the value of the dollar all right so to give you guys something new here basically this amendment is going to be lowering the capital requirements for lending to small and medium enterprises and infrastructure projects the regulatory body also aims to simplify the valuation process for mortgages mitigating concerns that early that earlier proposals could restrict affordable credit supply so this is going to be good uh this is going to be good for the future OK, going to be good for the future of the people uh, out in the UK and whatnot. But I want to give you guys a visual here of how Basel 3 is really going to work. These are banking rules. OK, banking rules. And again, you can see here in tier one, tier one core capital basics, basically meaning what you have on sheet, what you have on hand. Tier two, undisclosed reserves, general provisions, loans, reserves and whatnot. Tier three is your shareholder equity, you know, retaining those earnings and that capital. So really, again, they're lowering, lowering here what would really be needed in these banks so they can uh, actually do more lending. Again, guys, really have to understand where we find ourselves at the actual nexus of the new financial infrastructure. And you have to understand Ripple is a part of the governance body of this language that's going to connect all of these so-called digital islands. So again, if you're really interested in learning some more about all of this, if you're really interested in learning a little bit more about ISO cryptos, XRP, XLM, XDC, IOTA, Algorand, any any crypto built with a use case, definitely let us know what item, what asset you want to hear, but you want to get in tune. Hit that subscribe button, follow us over on Twitter, and get in tune here, folks, because we need to remain bullish. Okay, we need to remain bullish. We're not talking about no cult here, folks. We're talking about 2.13 million people that have XRP on their watch list, and it's for a reason. All right. With that being said, like I said, folks, smash the like button. I appreciate you for making it to this part of the video. Smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and listen. Share this thing out. They're really that look. You already know it's getting crazy out there and more and more and more as people are increasingly looking at their screens, depending on their screens and whatnot. You really cannot fall away from real life, folks. Health, wealth, and wisdom. I'll catch you in the next update. I'll holler at you later. Peace.